Ash from Super Videos back for another video for Season 10 of The Walking Dead. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at some new information that has recently surfaced regarding the Whisperer arc in Season 10. So there are rumors that there is going to be a second Whisperer spy who's going to be revealed to us in either the next episode or obviously the next half, but they will be revealing the second Whisper Spy to us in season 10. Now, like I said at this point, this is a rumor, it's not confirmed, but given that Dante being a Whisper started as a rumor, I wouldn't put it past them to do it again and for this rumor to also be true. So of course we had the first Whisper Spy revealed to us in season 10 episode 7, which was called Open Your Eyes, and this Whisper Spy was none other than Dante, who was also present during the Pikes Massacre in the barn. Now, one thing I do want to mention right off the bat is it would be repetitive material. They just did it. They revealed Dante to be a Whisper Spy. They had their big Whisper Spy story. So does it really add anything to the story for them to do it again? Now, with that said, from alpha's perspective it makes sense for her to have multiple spies but from where i'm standing from an audience perspective it makes zero sense for us to get another whisper spy being revealed to us now with that let's take a look at who could possibly be the second whisper spy even though at this point like i said it's a rumor it's not confirmed but Let's take a look at who the possible candidates are for being the second Whisper Spy. First, we have Gamma. Of course, at this point, Gamma was basically a spy for Alpha spying on the survivors, but things have shifted. What they're doing with her story is that they're going to have her be a double agent and help the survivors have an advantage over the Whispers. With that said, Gamma is definitely one of the candidates. She could have planned this all along. She could be acting as the Whispers or Alpha's spy. Think about it. They've already trusted her. They think they've broken her down. She's going to act like she's going to help them. And what if she actually doesn't? What if she basically tricks them and gets information out of them and gives it to Alpha? That would obviously make her the second Whisper spy. So that's one possibility. At this point, I think that's unlikely. I think it's more likely that they're going to follow that story where Gamma is just a double agent for the survivors. So she's basically the survivor's spy. But they could do something completely different to throw us off, to shock us, which is to make her the second Whisper spy. Now moving into other candidates, the first thing I do want to bring up first is this shot. So if you remember, in the premiere of season 10... Judith found this Whisperer mask, and this was the one that put Oceanside at lockdown in a way. So, obviously there is a Whisperer around Oceanside. We have not seen any Whisperer at Oceanside yet, but based on what we have in the mid-season finale, 1008, which is called The World Before, it seems like there are going to be some Whisperers that are going to pop up at Oceanside, and they're going to attack the place, and there's going to be some sort of a skirmish, and... There is going to be some sort of a battle at Oceanside with Whisperers being there. So that's going to be extremely interesting. Now why do I bring this up? Obviously the fact that Judith found the mask, the fact that Whisperers are attacking Oceanside raises the possibility that the second Whisper spy is actually at the Oceanside. So who could the spy be? The first possibility is the new character who's going to be introduced, Virgil. We have Virgil right here. He's a character that's going to be introduced in this upcoming episode, 1008. We don't know much about him. Actually, we don't know anything about him. There are rumors that he's going to be introduced bringing information or intel about Rick's whereabouts. And that's going to be the primary reason why Michonne is going to leave to go find Rick. That's a rumor at this point, much like the other rumors that we've been talking about recently. But there is still a possibility that Virgil has nothing to do with Rick and that he doesn't bring any information or intel about Rick and that he's sent by the Whispers and he's going to be the second Whisper spy. However, I think that's a little more far-fetched. And why do I say that? The first being that even the first Whisper spy that they had... Dante they had him already be a part of the community they didn't have him just join and that was on purpose because having him just join brings up a lot of plot holes in the story so to deal with that what they did for Dante is that they 
basically had him already be a part of the community and explained some of those plot holes through quick flashbacks, which we're going to see in this upcoming episode. So because of that, I think it'll be unlikely that they're going to just bring in a character, have him integrate into a community and have him be a Whisperer spy. So that leads me to think that Virgil is most likely not going to be a Whisperer spy and he's probably going to have some other sort of story. It could be connected to Rick, like we said, but it could be something completely different. The last candidate is actually Jules, the member at Oceanside. We actually got introduced to Jules in the premiere of season 10. And much like Dante, she was already a part of the community. She had integrated into the community when we first met her. So that's very interesting. And she's getting close to Luke. Jules and Luke seem to have this romantic bond. They haven't really showed us that they're together yet, but they're flirting and all of that. So that's interesting. So I think much like Dante, Jules is a perfect candidate, if you think about it, from the writer's perspective, to have her be a whisper spy. So that's extremely interesting. And the fact that she's getting close to Luke is interesting. And why do I say that? Well, if you think about it, Sadiq was captured. Dante was the one holding him down or opening his eyes. They had that connection. So the Whisperers could actually have Dante join the community and get close to Sadiq, who he had previous interactions with. Now, going to Luke, Luke was already captured by the Whisperers in Season 9. He was let go, but he was captured. He was traded in for Lydia, if you remember. So I wouldn't see it past the Whisperers to have Jules had kind of tried to get some information out of Luke when he was captured or get close to him in some way so that she would kind of be able to get close to him and actually attach herself to him when she becomes a spy. So that way she could kind of get information out much quicker because Luke already trusts her. So that's extremely interesting. So I think from these candidates, Gamma, Virgil, and Jules, Jules has the highest possibility of being the second Whisper spy. And she's actually the one that the rumors are saying is a Whisper spy as well. So that's another thing to keep in mind. But that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about in this video. I want to know everyone's thoughts and opinions. Do you think there will be a second Whisper spy? Do you think that's repetitive material? Or do you think it fits? And also, who do you think is the second Whisper spy if you think we're going to see another one? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video. If you like what you see, press like, subscribe for more content, and press the bell button to receive notifications for daily uploads.